Afternoon, everybody. Gosh, here we go again. You've seen me once already with a tile, I know, but this is the bigger one. So if you're up for it and you want to have a go, gosh, what have we got? Craft tile. This is out the regular packs. I put, I'm hoping it's the right number. I'm sure you'll put me right if it's not. It, that is a seven, not a two. 375 craft tile. I've got my regular pen, pencil, although I do think I need to sharpen it. It's not very good. And I've got my white pencil and my tortillon, of course. So all the basics. I'm not going to go too crazy this afternoon. I'm just going to go with what I've got. Yellow. Yeah, do you know what? I didn't. I've, I've dropped my pencil somewhere along the lines. Give it a bit of a sharpen. It's all good. There we go. Okay. So where are we going to start? Straight in with pen today. And of course, because we're on craft paper or card, you can use a white pen if you want to. It's entirely up to you. I uh, do apologise for my stand in the way. I did forget my regular one. So I'm working on uh, a bit of a makeshift one. At least it's not string attached to a piece of a piece of uh, regular, regular wood, is it? We're all good. Okay, first things first then. Deep breath. Oh, got this. I'm going to start with... Uh, I'm going to put a bubble in. About down here. Here we go. Bubble. Okay. And I'm going to put a little sort of white highlight in there. I said white. I could whiten it later. Let's go a bit bigger. And then let's fill it in with a little bit of ink. Now you could use your thicker pen for this. You could go in with that 05 if you want to, but I'm just gonna do it with that one. Oh Heather, it's it's warm here. It's not seriously, seriously hot, but that's okay. It's cool inside, so that's fine. Alright, I'm just gonna put my stick so this is uh, going to the bottom there. And then I'm going to draw around or aura uh, the whole thing, all the way around, back to the bottom. So that's my first one. And then I'm going to do the same again, all the way around, all the way around, and back to the bottom. Now again, if you think, oh, do you know what, I can't do that and I need to wave the lines a bit, put a wobble in, that's absolutely fine. Or you can stop and start okay don't forget you can turn it it's only a small piece of card it's absolutely fine whatever works for you there you go let's put another one in so you can choose if you want i quite like doing the the bubble first i find that i get a better bubble that way or you can bring your line up and create the bubble on the top we'll do one of those next and you can see the difference and it's all down to preference and a lock. And then again, if I go round and then back down, and same thing. So you can again, if you want to only do this twice, you can do that twice. I'm going to go for a third one. Working my way around. Just take your time with it. Okay. So this time let's do another one, but I'm going to start from the line let's see what that looks like so i'm going to come up oh, and around create that bubble on the top so you can do it either way again a little bubble there fill that in and then we go okay hello patty from michigan are you okay what's the weather like over there are you having similar to us or has it cooled down a little bit? Oh dear, we uh, like the States. We've been a couple of times. But not, for, not for a little while. Okay. I do like to go and see uh, Mickey now and again. Here we go. I can remember back being a school teacher, actually. We used to go to Paris, to Disneyland every year with about 40 kids. All from the ages of um, 12 to 15. That was interesting. As you can imagine. Yeah, for a whole week. Yeah, good times. We had a lot of fun. There you go. Didn't lose one. I, I brought them all back. <laughs> That's the dreamies in the background. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. We did almost lose one. We had one particular child that decided he was going to, I don't know why, he was going to sort of uh, 
Aim for Freedom and we were on a service station in the middle of France and we just pulled up, you know, before and he, he ran he ran and uh, I think one of the, two of the teachers had to go after him and they're like, Look after the others. So there we are on a service station with thirty nine kids and the other one doing a runner in the forest on the woods around the outside. <laughs> that was interesting. And we did have um a coach of kids once and there were six that were missing and we're like do you know what where are they we bet they're queuing for a ride and you know once you've queued for a ride you do, you want that two minutes and you think i don't want to go back now because you know i'm going to miss it i've queued for an hour so they decided they were going to wait in the queue and uh, so at that point i actually left i've got a senior teacher with me that year and i uh, i left her waiting for them and um yeah, she. Uh, I could give them what for, of course, when they got back. And then the following day, they had to sit for the amount of time they made us all wait. <laughs> they had to sit and wait while everybody else went for the rides. <laughs> so uh, I sat with them when we were doing, like, uh, I spy, uh, being really sarcastic, and we did a little bit of drawing. So I used to take a sketchbook, and we were like, let's draw something that we can see, and... So I know it was a punishment because they were late and we made us all late for our evening meal, but they were on holiday too, you know. They looked for it all year. I can remember coming back, they actually, um, they did write me a note saying, thanks for making it bearable. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they brought me some chocolates with like little Mickey Mouse and things on. I'm sure I've, st I've still got the wrappers. I know it sounds really daft, but, you know, in a scrapbook. <laughs> Yeah, I still got these little wrappers and that little note they sent me. It was lovely. All right, so we've got a few of these here. Oh, good times. Good times. Okay, I'm going to put a bubble here, sort of on the floor. There it is. And then let's put one, two, three around there. So it's sort of falling off the bottom of the page a little bit there. And then let's have another one here. Again, little bubble there. The worst thing is, miss, I can't speak French. How do I ask for a donut? I don't speak French either. But do you know what? For that week, I did learn, and I could, I could get by. I could actually get a cup of tea and a donut. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Rose, no, they're not tangling alongside me. They're, they're, they're in the green room. Yeah, I think that would have been too much pressure for them. But no. They're in. Laughing along. Okay, see, three lines. See, I'm getting a little bit of a border. Look at the whole thing together. It's quite nice, isn't it? I'm going to put, let's put one in here, sort of sneaking in that top. So it's going to be a quick one today because lots of lots of things go on we do actually go you know have little meetings and things we don't just sit here and jolly all day and have a social really? yeah yeah we <laughs> pack it we work we work here okay so i'm gonna come in let's have a look here imagine you can see what's coming like i want a bit of a curve coming in there and it's gonna come up from there and in and along there and back down it's going to sort of hide in there. Uh, I'm going to do another one. See, try from the top. We'll see how you feel with that, if it's a little bit easy to draw. I just come back from Thailand as well. And well, then I'm you can find your way along there, okay? And then here, let's do a little bit of a curve there. So a similar thing, but it's got a curve on the end. Maybe so, Maureen. I think they'd be addicted then. Though. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. They're setting up for uh, shows and things themselves. Right. And let's put another one in. Yeah. yeah. And along there. And back down this one. Okay. So there's a few in. And let's have some little uh, lines in. A little bubble on the end. Lines in. Bubble. Let's have a couple in. A little bubble, see? And another. Maybe, uh, 
not going to overdo it with these. We don't want to sort of completely overrun the, the space with, with these. I just want some little shapes in there. And then, of course, this is something we've not... I don't know. Oh, Rose, what's Dobby up to? That's a good point. Dobby's not with me today. We, Of course, we're having classes this weekend. And he's up there. Allegedly, he's up there working. Leslie said he's got a lot of cleaning to do. But he's also just making sure he's been fitted for a new outfit. And he's... Part got it on and part not because Leslie's like, you can't wear it while you're tidying up. And he's like, yeah, but I'm wearing it so I can't tidy up. So I left them to it. Absolutely left them to it. So I have no idea what he's doing. Whether he's uh, refused or what. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here we go. We've got this lovely little design going on. I'm just going to bring my pencil in for a minute because I want on this end. And I'm going to put in a little rectangle-ish. Sort of at an angle. Let's zoom in on that then. Okay. So if I split it in the middle, doesn't matter if it's not exactly equal. There you go. Got a line in the middle. And then I'm going to come in with a little line. It looks like a little present in midair, isn't it? Okay. So if I put a little curve around the top, and I'm going to come in a little bit. On both sides and then a little curve around the bottom as well and a little line there so it's a little bit like we've just done those bubbles at the bottom and then starting from here I'm going to come up and fill that space create a loop and then up fill the space create a loop Oh, come on, Joe, you've got this. You've got this. Do it in pencil first. Now, I'm not going to do a whole loop first. I'm going to do a little one. So it's not filling the whole space. It's filling about half. Yeah. And honestly, if there's any anything that ever you're not sure about, change it for something else. So if I was to put, for example, lines in here and you think, I don't want lines, I want bubbles. That's absolutely fine. You can put bubbles in really doesn't matter it's your piece it's your work but you know sometimes it's nice just to try things if you struggle maybe there's a different way of doing it we could look at that there you go little butterfly let's have a look at the whole thing oh hi chris it is yeah it's been a bit of a busy day but we like it that way we like to uh, keep going keeps me out of trouble just for a little bit anyway okay let's move out of the way bit of shading now i'm going to use uh my regular pencil i'm probably going to bring a bit of white in as well being that we can so let's start with this one though and there uh, see where this sort of curve goes underneath that one let's put a bit of pencil there see let's go in a bit okay and same there that's that's some here so i'm looking for all of these and bringing that little bit out there not worried about whether it's going the same way or not. I just want to put a bit of graphite in, okay? And then just a little bit on that bottom edge. So choose your side, just a little bit there. Just so we've got touch of shadow in areas. Now, my sort of curved bit of grass here, it's going around one edge. Doesn't matter which, you can swap and change as well if you like. But don't overdo it, just want a little bit. Okay. All right. And then let's do just a little line on both sides. A bit around there. Our butterfly, just a little bit in the middles. Don't want to overdo it. Okay. Torty on. And soften those edges off. Okay, so wherever I've put a little bit of pencil, I'm going to ease it off. It doesn't have to be exactly the same on all the pieces. Just sort of wherever you've got that little bit of shade. Okay. 
around. So not too tricky to do this one. You can take your time with those little elements. And I think it shows that you don't have to use the whole tile and fill it all the time. You can just use a section of it. You can go bigger if you want. You can do the whole thing. Or you could go to macro tile. Do a larger piece. Let's have a little look at that. Oh, Maureen, we'll have to have a talk about your quilt when I see you again. We will, you have to bring it in let me have a look at it. It's uh, crazy. Okay, see a bit of white and I'm going to add some just in areas. Just give, catching that light a little bit. And I'm not going to blend this in at all. I'm going to add little touches. So it's almost like the, the moon, sort of like, it's just touching areas. Okay. Oh, a little bit. I know, Louise, she did get there eventually. It looks amazing. Sometimes I know we struggle at things. We just have to put them down and come back to them at some point and just try again. And uh, again, you, you never have to go exactly the same. You can amend it to suit if you need to. Let's have a look. Yeah, please, Maureen, if you've got any problems, give me a shout. There we go. So for a, a quick tangle today, I think that's probably done and sorted. So here we go, initials on there. And there we go, all done. So hope you've enjoyed that. You could put a bit of color, it look amazing with a bit of color on there, wouldn't it, if you wanted to. But uh, absolutely, it's it's a really pretty one. And this would make a really nice corner border if you wanted to. And then maybe a sentiment in there as well, something different. And it would also, ignore, ignore the butterfly for a minute, it would hang well if you wanted it to as well. So uh, whatever you wanted to do with it. So there we go, all done. 375, which I think it is, sorted. And of course... Um, Tuesday's the next one, so if you're around at 2 o'clock then, I will see you then. If you're coming up for classes or you're travelling today for classes over the weekend, I will see you at the weekend. Exciting times. And of course, not forgetting, if you're around this afternoon, I'm uh, doing a little bit of demoing on Hobby Maker as well. So, okay. Have fun, everybody. Take care. Enjoy the lovely weather. And I'll see you soon. Bye.